Hi, I'm Dr. Shanice O'Mara, and I'm originally a mechanical engineer, and I'm here to answer all your questions about the subject. Kathleen, age 15, from London, asks, what's the best thing to make a parachute out of? That's a great question. I'd love to know why you're asking this. Um, I would say that the three most important things are make sure the material is light, because you're going to have to pack all of that material, and it's going to be a vast amount of material, into a small space so that you can carry it onto your back. The second most important thing is something that is strong, because it's going to have to carry your weight and a huge volume of air underneath it. And on that note, it's going to have to be a material that's airtight because you can't make it out of sponge, for example, because air would just go straight through it. So something that's airtight, something that's light, and something that's strong, I think, would be the three most important things for parachute material. One piece of advice, if you are going to try and test out different materials for a parachute, make sure you make a prototype first. Holly, age 17, from Newcastle, asks, do you feel out of place as a woman in engineering? It seems like a man's job and not that appealing to me. Um, that's a really interesting question because as a woman in engineering, I have to say I was surrounded by a lot of men. But what's always really baffled me is that it's not really a man's subject necessarily. I mean, it's for men, women, boys, girls, everyone that loves maths really because engineering is about applying maths to real life situations and that's definitely what I found the most fascinating. Um, it's not a man's job. Uh, the most manly thing I did was kind of put on a hard hat and wear steel toe cap boots and climb up to rooftops and things and that's not manly. Um, so I would definitely recommend that if you find engineering fascinating, go for it because it's a highly rewarding career and certainly not just for the boys. Ian asks, if you had 50 billion, where would it best be spent on? Searching space or the seas? Interesting question because I think if I had 50 billion, uh, I'd retire. But going back to the question, I think it's interesting because so much science and technology of our everyday lives has come out of space research, whether that's memory foam for mattresses uh, for your bed, or invisible braces, or um, Teflon, a very obvious one. But if you were to ask me personally where I'd spend the money, I would love to spend the money on searching the seas or searching more of our planet, because I'm fascinated with our world. Uh, I'm fascinated with Earth. So rather than kind of deviating away from our planet, I think it would be more useful to look to nature. Jack, age 17 from Derbyshire, asks, if you were in my shoes, a 17-year-old A-level student, what project idea would you like to take forward and research for the National Science and Engineering Competition? Hmm, interesting. Well, having been a judge, for this very competition. Out of all the finalists, the subjects that I found the most interesting were the ones that were delivered by the finalists that had the most passion for their subjects. So find out where your engineering passions lie and explore them. Another bit of advice that I would give is that choose a subject that is also of wide appeal to a large number of people. So I would say two things in, in answer to your question. Look for something that you're really passionate about and then go for a subject that has a really wide public appeal. Sophie, age 16 from North Wales asks, what do you think the next big development will be in science and engineering? I think the reason why that question is uh, so interesting and quite tricky to answer is because science and engineering is a massive field. I think the next big developments uh, will probably be in health because everyone's interested in maintaining and improving their health. Me personally, I am watching the space of 3D printing because I absolutely love it and I think there is so much potential for it to grow and progress into all kinds of directions that we never dreamed of. What an amazing bunch of questions. Thank you so much for sending them in. And if you've been inspired by any of these questions, then why not enter the National Science and Engineering Competition next year?